guys, welcome to Badminton Overtime. Tony Gunawan here. Uh, I would like to share videos of badminton uh, tips and exercise that you guys can do. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Okay, guys, today I'm gonna go over some doubles uh, defense uh, footwork and how you position your leg and um, everything. Okay, so the first basic thing that you need to do. First of all, is you need to keep following the birdies or shuttle balls. Right? If you lifting straight, you're facing there, you're lifting cross, and you're facing to the birdies. Right? That's a basic um, must do uh, footwork. Okay? Now, any little bit more specific, right? Like most of my students asking me if, you know, right leg, your position, right leg in the back, right leg in the front, uh, which one you use, both of them. Uh, is correct right it just depends on your situation okay so when you lift in high right right leg in the back it's a little bit more passive defense and you can be more flexible right so shifting your weight you stay lower it's a little bit more comfortable compared when you're right leg in the front and you still can go low but it's not as comfortable a little bit more stiff uh, but you uh, you get more power when you run like in the front, right? You get less power when you run like in the back. But also, like I said, right, run like in the back, you have more flexibility. So when you hitting your with your back end, which normally uh, how professional players do, right? You turning on your right hand, hitting your back end, which is your right leg in the front, you still can do this, but your body, your leg is blocky. Okay, so right leg in the back, a little bit more covering everything, less power, passive a little bit, this one, right leg in the front, more aggressive. So when you're using uh, right leg in the back or right leg in the front, right? So for me, for me, if I'm lifting high, uh, your opponent have so much control, they can drop, they can smash, they can aim in any spot, that's when my right leg will be in the back. Right? If I'm lifting flat, try to counter the make them in trouble with lifting flat. Because when I'm waiting, because their smash not gonna be as steep, so that's when I'm waiting with my right leg at the front. Okay, now how low most people asking how low your standing is supposed to be. For me, it's more of uh, if you can do quick step as fast as you can, like as fast as you can. That's how low your position is supposed to be. That is your um, fastest position you can do, right? If you're standing up, it cannot be as fast. A little bit too low, also very hard to, to do quick step. So how fast can you go? That's how low you're supposed to uh, standing, right? And your racket head, okay? Like where you ready, low, high. Same thing like when you want to catch, right? Like if someone want to throw something to you, how you defend, like how you, how you want to catch, that's how you're ready for your racket. Don't be too extend, too straight. Like of course you cannot be uh, too close to your body, because again, like how you want to catch a uh, ball or anything that you want to catch, that's how you're ready for your racket, for your racket. Okay? Now, um, top players, right? uh, professional players, normally they're ready on the back end, a little bit on the back end more than the forehand position. The reason is backhand is a bit more uh, flexible, right? Forehand is stronger, but it's a little bit stiff, right? Like I said, right? Backhand, if you are strong in your wrist, in your flexible joint, which is your uh, elbow and your uh, shoulder, you can take uh, all of, like 100% all the shots with backhand, as long as you have your uh, strong wrist. Okay, which is forehand, right? Like again, like I can show you the swing on the backhand, right? Forehand, then you already stuck a little bit. Okay, so so let me show you what I mean by 100% you can hit with your backhand. Yeah? As long as you have a strong wrist and you're flexible, my right leg in the back, right? I can show you. Here, of course, your body needs to shifting weight between your leg, right? And backhand. 
need to turn your body to adjust to make it comfortable. If not, then it's not going to be, it's not possible at all. So you have to, right? and you still can do it uh, this way for you to your back. Okay? And right leg in the back, like I, I said, right? So many people, when they lift, their reaction fast. Even though they lift, they still have strong forehead. So you can use your wrist if you lift. specific video please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe uh, hit the like button and turn on the no notification uh, button and thank you guys and see you again next time